Hello everyone. So welcome to this lecture. And in this lecture we'll start inverse modulus. And this is a new topic. So before we start with the inverse modulus topic, let's see where we are exactly. Since already we are aware with this tree diagram, and where we have done the arrangement of uh, entire modular arithmetic chapters. So in my previous lecture, since already we have started with uh, exercise number two, and where we are continuing. Fundamentals of modular arithmetic, and already we have covered D of n dan equation. D of n dan equation was a quite large topic, but uh, once you understand this this D of n dan equation, the rest of the part will be easy to you. So now in this lecture we will start with inverse modulus calculation. So before start with the inverse modulus calculation, we'll see some introduction about the inverse modulus. So basically inverse modulus is denoted by suppose I need to find inverse of a mod b, then it will be denoted by A inverse mod of B. I hope this point is clear to you now. And one condition is there, and that condition is very very important. This condition says that inverse modulus exists if and only if GCD of A comma B is one. If the GCD of A comma B is not equal to one, it means that in that particular case we cannot find modulus, right? So this is the point number two. I hope this point is also clear to you. So now we'll start with the procedure over here. How to in procedure we're going to learn how to find inverse modulus. To find the inverse modulus, we'll go to the step one first, and at the step one, we'll find GCD of a comma b, and the GCD of a comma b should be one. And if it is not one, then in that case, here we'll write inverse of a mod b does not exist. Now I'll go to the step number two, and where after finding the GCD of a comma b, and here here already we have obtained the GCD right d, and d is nothing but GCD, and the value of GCD is already equal to one. So in at the step number two, we'll express d equal to ax plus b, and uh, I think you know how to express this thing. Already we had seen in D of n dan equation. Now we'll go to the step number three, and at the step number three, we'll go to find a inverse mod of b from the equation uh, from from the step two, and how how it is to be find that I will go to explain in the explain you in the problem part. So I hope that this part is clear to you now. So now this is the end of this lecture, and the from the next lecture, we'll start with the solution part. Thank you.